one planet, 7.3 billion people, only one you. Life offers us many opportunities and learning experiences. Are you ready to explore and discover this beautiful planet, the life and energy all around us, the spiritual world, and what is unseen, along with your own personal soul adventure? Mark Lanehart, the intuitive prospector, is the spiritual connection you have been prospecting for. Internationally known as a tested and professional clairvoyant medium and spiritual advisor, Mark's work as a metaphysical teacher, medical instructor, radio show host, inspirational writer, and hiking guide are here to help you on a journey of self-discovery, healing, inspiration, education, and a whole lot of spiritual awesomeness. Dare to dream. Dare to explore. Dare to live. For more information on Mark's spiritual practice in Seattle, Washington, please visit marklanehart.com or internet search The Intuitive Prospector. Right. Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're at in this beautiful planet of ours. I'm Mark Lanehart. Uh, welcome to Metaphysical Mocha Mondays, every Monday morning here on the Intuitive Prospector page, uh, starting at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Had a little bit of technical difficulties this morning, but I think we're up and running. Uh, let me just check the live feed here. Um, yeah, it looks like we're up and running, so good morning to you. Uh, I hope that you're staying safe. I hope that you're staying healthy and properly informed during these very um, changing, uh, what's to some may be chaotic times. Uh, to, other, to others of us, it's uh, transformation times, uh, awakening times. You know, everybody has a different perspective. But I try to come on here every Monday morning to just share a 30-minute inspirational show for encouragement, for guidance. And today I have uh, a few things I wanted to share with you, and then we'll get into the Healing Cafe, which is immediately right after this show. Um, so if you're new to the show, let us know where you're from, uh, where you're tuning in from. Uh, you can send a picture, let us know what city you're living in. I love to meet new people and, and uh, make contact and just do a little bit of uh, you know spiritual prospecting for your own spiritual goals, whatever that is, or wherever you find yourself in life. Uh, so today's message is about you have a purpose choose to not be a spectator. Uh, life is not a spectator sport. For some of you, it may be. And uh, this morning, I wanted to talk about motivating you to really maybe start making a difference and standing up for uh, what you believe in, um, where we're going with this shift, this transformational change. Uh, everything that I've been talking about since my podcast on January 8th, 2020, I talked about what I see as the great coming together I've seen uh, such words as homeostasis, uh, sustainability, self-mastery. And as we build up to this very um, chaotic time that we find ourselves in, I do believe in the power of human consciousness, the intelligence of what we can do and where we can go together 
and I wanted to talk about you have a purpose and hopefully today's show will help you realize what that purpose is. You know, if we don't live without purpose or if we don't have a sense of purpose, um, you know, you gotta, you gotta stay patient and trust the journey as it goes. The purpose of life is a life of purpose. And one of the quotes that I love from Picasso, Pablo Picasso, the famous painter, if you know him, the meaning of life is to find your gift. The purpose of life is to give it away. So this morning, I'm going to share a crystal with you, uh, going to share a totem animal spirit with you, a numerology for the uh, week. And really, it's just a 30-minute show to inspire you, to get you motivated, encouraged, thinking outside the box. Uh, you know, I picked Monday specifically because it's such a low vibration energy day, and I've been doing this show for about two years now. Um, and then what happens at 8.30, this show ends, it goes over to my YouTube channel, so make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm almost at 350 uh, prospectors that uh, join me uh, on this journey of uh, videos, interviews, um, you know, and uh, just celebrating life, you know, what life has to offer. But the most important thing that we have to start Metaphysical Mocha Mondays off with, because it wouldn't be Mocha Mondays without a nice cup of coffee. So take a nice breath with me. Let's move into the magic of the moment. You got a cup of coffee, you got a cup of tea, take that nice breath in, just move into what I always teach on the magic of the moment. And I'm just going to talk about purpose. I'm going to talk about uh, a few people that have impacted my life that have moved over into the spirit world. Some of you know them, the notorious RBG. She's been in the headlines for several days now with everything that's going on here in the United States. But I wanted to look past the politics of this because there's a lot of politics right now. There's a lot of divide going on in our country here in the United States. I'm not a politician. I don't favor a certain political party. I'm a constitutionalist. Um, it's just funny when I when I speak up to something or when I speak out against something, if it's in violation of the Constitution, it's funny how people can label you, right? Like, uh, oh, you're a liberal or you're a conservative. Um, I just speak the truth when it, it violates the law, when it violates the Constitution. And the last 10 months, I've observed a lot of situations, a lot of different people, how people respond. And one of the things that really captured my mind with what uh, the notorious RBG stood for and what she said, she talked about fight for the things that you care about, but do it in a way that will lead others to join you. And that's what I'm doing today. I'm talking about things that um, I care about, which is our planet, people, the spirit world, uh, you as a person, I care about you and I hope that you're doing well wherever you're at. But at the same time, we're in such a divisive culture. And like I said, my vision has been the great coming together. I just did an article for the West Seattle uh, blog here in West Seattle, uh, in Washington State, where I live. And I talked about this great coming together. But as we get up to this national election, it, it's going to appear like we're very divided. But in the end, I see us coming together because we do this together. And if we don't, nobody wins in a zero-sum game. But I, I loved Ruth's uh, quote about fight for the things that you care about but do it in a way that will lead others to join you. And I, and I do care about the United States. I do care about democracy. I do care about freedom, um, but I don't want to see us lose that. And sometimes, you know, you have to speak up and you're going to always get attacked by critics, by pundits, by somebody that doesn't believe the same thing as you. And that's just, you know, I always teach my students in my group, the, uh, the art of spiritualism is the ability to shift perspectives and to honor and respect those that maybe have a different perspective than your own. Uh, I'm definitely not always right. Um, I do try to be very open-minded and, and see a different perspective dep depending on where that person sits at the table of life. But at the same time, uh, you know, another person that really has um, been in the mainstream is John Lewis, the great civil rights um, icon, really. So two great icons, John Lewis and the notorious RBG have now shifted in the spirit world, which is interesting from a timing standpoint. Uh, but today, I wanted to remind you that you have a purpose, and hopefully this show will inspire you, encourage you to find what that purpose is so you can plan and put some passion around purpose. Because when we don't have purpose, uh, life can seem very, very boring. Uh, life can be, um, you know, I, I always say that, you know, activity without purpose is the drain of your life. So uh, this morning, try to find purpose uh, this week ahead, whatever that is, one day at a time. Um, you can find purpose with a nice cup of coffee. Um, I always, you know, remind people in the end, uh, we only regret the chances we didn't take. And I, and I truly believe that. And, uh, you know, my tagline is dare to dream, dare to explore, dare to live. And so I wanted to come on and just share a, a few inspiring moments with you. 
and just remind you too that you know um don't give up don't give in keep the faith and keep your eyes on the prize that's what uh, john lewis always talked about that's what he always preached about a lot of people loved him he was a great man just like uh, the notorious rbg of course they had their their haters and you know, in life, you're going to have the people that just don't, uh, you know, like you, even if you've done nothing, but you have to be accepting of that and always keep moving forward. There's a famous quote from Winston Churchill, who I followed. I'm a big fan uh, in the history of World War II. And he always talked about if you stop to listen to every barking dog along the way, you're never going to get to where you're going. And that's a good reminder for all of us. Um, you know, and, you know, with the passing of John Lewis and the passing of the notorious RBG, um, you know, I know the fights that are going on politically at the Supreme Court, but these are two great people that really stood for something and I want to honor them. And I also want to just say, you know, thank you and honor our first responders, our police, our fire. There's a lot that's going on with the police right now. I get it. I understand. Um, Black lives do matter. Um, you know, there's part of this transformation process that we're going through, but I want to honor them because every day, cops, police officers, EMTs, paramedics, they show up on the front lines to protect and, and keep us safe and, and take us to the hospital when we're sick or dying. And also our frontline healthcare workers, our nurses, our doctors, um, everybody in the healthcare industry that is fighting. It just seems like COVID has uh, just been one of the many uh, things of 2020. And I always will, will refer back to this year of 2020. Hindsight is 2020. I wonder if it was really trying to tell us something. But this is going to be the year that we transform. This is going to be what we see, what we don't want, what we don't like. And again, you know, the power of the vote to choose, but also to stand up in your own little bubble wherever you're at in the world. And, um, you know, if, if you see something that's not right or fair, um, you don't just have a moral obligation to do something about it. Um, you have a right to do something about it. So, you know, say something, uh, you know, I've, I've been taught, you know, with my government job, see something, say something. And it's no different in society, but the thing that is really, um, divided us is how people are if you're not in this corner then you're obviously in the other corner and it doesn't need to be that way it's more of coming uh to what i talked about homeostasis and the fact of homeostasis is a center moderate moderate road in the center uh the nervous system fights or flights homeostasis is, is something that we want to get into it and with our nervous system it's a medical term but it's something that we could probably apply to society as well to get more to homeostasis and be able to respect both sides um, and stop this divide. Because again, a house divided does not stand. And I wanna see us move forward in great ways and be the light of the world. Because in, when the United States is shining bright, it, ripple, it ripples out to our allies, to other um, up and coming countries. We're always gonna have, you know, diversity and violence in history. That's, you know, I'm a realist and I know that's gonna go on, but we can always make a, a change just by showing up and the words that we speak. Never be, never ever be afraid to make some noise and get in good trouble, necessary trouble. And I love that about John Lewis. I know he's passed into the spirit world, but he's right. We need to speak up and, and, and talk about uh, get in good trouble and use our words for positivity. Use words of honey, not vinegar. Um, be able to debate somebody versus not argue with somebody. And the difference is when you debate with somebody, it's allowing them to speak, to give their perspective. You listen and then you counter. And we're gonna see this tomorrow. Um, in the national debate. I'm interesting to see how this is going to go, to be honest with you, because we're also seeing ideologies start to evolve in our society and what people believe in and what people don't believe in. Morally, moral fiber, moral code, the golden rule as a spiritualist, paying it forward, treating people like we like to be treated. And tomorrow's going to be interesting. Is it going to be an argument where it's just two people talking over each other? And when we talk over each other, we don't hear, or is it going to be a debate? I kind of already, I have a, a sense of how it's going to go, but I try to approach that in my life. I try to give people the ability to speak their truths and their perspective and I can listen, but then also the respect to allow me to speak uh, and share my truths and my perspective. And that's where we need to go back to. And I believe that's where we're gonna get to. We had to go through all of this very chaotic times uh, to um, um, you know, be able to address and see this for what it is. John Lewis talked about the vote is the most powerful nonviolent tool we have. And I totally agree with that. So make sure that you register whatever side of the house that you're on, uh, Democrat, Republic, Independent. Like I said, uh, I don't have a political affiliation. I'm a constitutionalist because I raised my right hand to defend the constitution. But today's message is about you have a purpose. Choose not to be a spectator. It's the game of life, guys. And you, if you want to get in this game of life, you got to participate. I know in society, you know, we give out a lot of participation awards by just showing up 
But if you really want to start making a change in the world, um, as Gandhi talked about back in the day, the, the change starts with you. And I, I, I can speak that. I can, I can tell you about complete change of, you know, where I thought I was going to be 10 years ago to um, where I am today. Uh, another quote that really, um, you know, um, that stood out to me um, from RBG um, is, where is it? People ask me, if you could be whatever you wanted to be, what would you be? And this is coming from the Notorious RBG. And she says, my first answer is not a great lawyer. It is, I would be a great diva. Uh, but I totally lack the talent. So the next best, best thing is law. Um, and what I love about RBG is she was she had the ability to see both sides, different perspectives. Like a lot of people would coin her as a liberal left, which she voted on and was in the Supreme Court. But she was also great friends with Justice Scalia, who was very on the other side. But they worked together to try to help each other see different perspectives and give purpose. Right. Um, you know, I believe that politics is morals and action. Uh, and we're seeing a lot of morals in action or lack thereof of morals in action, people that support that, people that don't, which is fine. But what I love about her, that quote about her is her true career ambition. She wanted to be a diva. A lot of people don't know that about her, but she said, you know, I lacked talent to be a uh, great diva. So law was, was the next best thing. And sometimes for purpose, we have to identify, maybe we're not great at something. Maybe we're not great at um, sports, but you're really great at music and vice versa. Maybe you're not a LeBron James that's going to the finals and congratulations to them. Um, I hope that the Lakers win from a sporting standpoint, just because we forgot that Kobe Bryant passed this year. Uh, this year has been so many different things going on. You're like, oh God, yeah, that's right. Kobe Bryant and uh, his daughter and all those people on the helicopter, all those amazing souls perished in a helicopter accident. That's this year. And so I'm, I'm hoping that the Lakers win the finals. Um, I was hoping my Celtics would get there. I'm actually a Celtics fan, but my Celtics lost to Miami. So I'm rooting for the Lakers and also to honor Kobe Bryant. And I just want to point out my Seattle Seahawks back here uh, are three and all looking good in football. But I, and I'm bringing up sports because it just helps us to get back to a sense of normalcy, if you will, for everything that's going on in the world. Um, but today I wanted to just talk about and remind you, talking about sports, that life is a is not a spectator sport. In order to be successful, in order to make change, you have to participate. Um, and I hope that you participate in a way that makes sense to you. And you know, like. I'll just remind you, as John Lewis talked about, never, ever be afraid to make some noise and good and getting good trouble, necessary trouble. And, uh, I, you know, that's really helped me because even being out here in the public sphere, doing the, the work I do, whether it's a psychic, whether it's a medium, uh, spiritual, spirituality, intuition, my writing, um, my radio show, Inspired Living Radio. Um, when I first started, I, I had a lot of people that supported my work, but I also had some really mean people uh, that just came at me for no reason. People I didn't even know, and you know, and, and, you know, religious based, um, you know, as a medium, they would use the Bible, um, you know, to quote that, you know, mediums are, you know, works for the devil and con artists and all this stuff. And it really kind of took me back because I show up every Monday morning to inspire, to encourage, uh, to, you know, bring motivations. And here I've got people that are, you know, divisive and, and cynics and, you know, just saying really bad stuff. And it was just like, wow, but you get to see the world for what it is, but what it does, it helps you to grow stronger. Just like when you cut yourself, then you first cut yourself, you're like, oh my God, that really hurt. But then you realize that your skin gets stronger, you get thicker skin, right? Um, and you have a scar tissue, which allows you to heal and, and, and continue to go. And, and so that's what I, I hope that you're not giving up on this year. I hope that you are um, moving forward with a positive mindset. That's why I do my shows is, is positivity, encouragement, motivation, inspiration, um, all of that. Uh, because we're moving into a great shift. We're moving into a great transformational shift. Um, I talked about this at the beginning of the year, and here we are, we're at, the, we're at the doorstep of great change. But at the same time, when I talked about what normal is and the roaring 20s, because I, I knew in, in, from a numerology standpoint that the roaring 20s were going to come in a big way, uh, we're shifting and we're transforming from the caterpillar 
into the butterfly. And what I'm also seeing for just observing people in situations, it's really hard when people have butterfly perspective to talk to caterpillar perspective. It's really hard for caterpillar uh, people to talk to butterfly people. And we're kind of seeing that red versus blue, left versus right. Uh, but at the end, I believe that we're going to work together for the common good uh, because the planet is also reminding us that we're, uh, we're stewards. Um, you know, I, I posted on my, my personal page on, on Facebook, I talked about just like that money, fame, power, beauty are worthless. Mother's nature message to all of us. You are not necessary. The air, the earth, the water and the sky without you are fine. When you come back, remember that you are my guests, not my masters. And I believe that that's what this virus is doing. Uh, it's reminding us of our uh, ecosystem within the stability of our uh, species, not an ego system because humans tend to run from an ego standpoint. And we've destroyed a lot of animals. We've destroyed a lot of life, uh, extinction type levels. And we're seeing the planet shift, you know, whether you believe in, you know, global change, global warming, uh, climate change, whatever you want to call it, something has taken place and we need to, you know, pay attention. But at, at the same time, don't give up on this year. Keep fighting for the good. Keep showing up. Keep loving. Keep giving back. Keep being kind and caring and compassionate. Keep being brave. Uh, it, it, it's not easy. And I can, there, trust me, there's sometimes I just don't want to show up. I just want to hide away in a the, in the cave and, um, you know, not talk about everything that's going on. But at the same time, by showing up, it shows that I care about you. I believe in you. I see you. I believe that you have a purpose. You, you just need to find that purpose. And that's why my company is called The Intuitive Prospector, because we are all prospectors in life. We have to work hard. We have to put on the right attitude, the right gear. We have to go out into nature, and we have to seek for what we find. And when we put in that hard work, just like the laws of creation, what you put in, you get out. And I personally believe that when we're prospecting for what we want, we set our intention, energy follows that intention, we focus, your focus determines your reality. You go out and you dig down and you work hard, you find that piece of gold, you find that diamond within. Um, so keep caring, keep trying new things, keep showing grace. We need grace and forgiveness. I just talked about this. Uh, my latest article is out on Home Times uh, Magazine talking about forgiveness is the best revenge. And there's a lot of truth to that. Uh, keep on. This world needs you uh, to believe in the good. Um, I hope that you uh, continue to show up and just know that we're not going to return to normal. Normal was the problem in the first place. There's a great quote that I'm going to give you your crystal and your numerology number for the week. It comes from Sonia Renee Taylor, and it says this, and just bear with me over a nice cup of coffee. We will not go back to normal. Normal never was. Our pre-corona existence was not normal other than renormalized greed, inequality, exhaustion, depletion, extraction, disconnection, confusion, rage, hoarding, hate, and lack. We should not long to return, my friends. We are being given the opportunity to stitch a new garment, one that fits all humanity and all nature. So it's a very powerful message. That's from Sonia Renee Taylor. You know what? It's, that's such a powerful message that that requires a final clap. So we're going to get ready uh, for the uh, we're going to get ready for the healing cafe. Um, I just wanted to share that with you this morning. You have a purpose, so keep showing up, keep being kind, caring, compassionate, um, keep being brave, keep being caring. Uh, you know, this year is not over. I, I believe in that this year is going to. Uh, we're going to really start to see some transformations take place. Remember, the vote is the most powerful non-violent tool that we have. I don't want to see violence as we move forward, um, but we may be in for some, unfortunately, because again, there's a there's a standing up for what's right, what's wrong, two different ideologies, I guess. Um, but again, um, as John Lewis said, I believe that if that you see something that you want to get done, you cannot give up and you cannot give in. And if if you see something that is not right, not fair not just you have a moral obligation to do something about that. And I truly believe that. But at the end of it, at the end of the day, real change, enduring change happens one step at a time and fight for the things that you care about, but do it in a way that will lead others to join you. And I just wanted to share that with you today. Your crystal for today um, out of the uh, nice crystal Bible is fluorite. And fluorite is um, a very protective, highly protective stone. And I'm giving you fluorite today because we're going to need some 
uh, protection of our mindset, um, protection of our emotions. Remember, emotions uh, is not a compass. So make sure that you're not, you know, I've got my compass right here as the intuitive prospector, just so you guys can see, here's my compass. I'm always, I always keep this as a reminder to try and try to find my true north and not let my emotional state, not let my mind and my heart get out of balance so I can, you know, try to make uh, logical, rational decisions. And sometimes that's hard as a sensitive, as a psychic, because some of the stuff that I've been seeing coming has been very difficult to deal with um, because of the violence. And I don't want to see violence anywhere. I don't believe in violence on, on you know, my brother was murdered uh, violently. So I, I'm a, I'm a, I'll stand up against violence um, in support of the Constitution, but I don't condone violence of any kind. And again, like John Lewis said, your vote is the best nonviolent tool that we have. So make sure that you vote in the change you want to see in the world. Uh, but fluorite's great crystal to have. It's a highly protective, especially on the psychic level for all of you psychics out there, for all you sensitive out there, for all you empaths. Fluorite comes in a bunch of different colors, green, brown, purple, clear. Um, it's easily uh, sourced anywhere, pretty much uh, around the world. A very common stone fluorite is. Not the fluorite that people think that you put in your water for your toothpaste, not that fluoride. That's fluoride, not fluorite. So this is fluoride, the crystal. Uh, but again, what it's great is it helps you discern when outside influences are at work within yourself and it shuts off the psychic manipulation and undue mental influence. The stone cleanses and stabilizes the aura. So I wanted to give that to you today because it's about stabilizing and cleansing the aura. aura and again, showing up and finding purpose. I believe in you. I see you. I love you. I care about you. And I hope that you find your purpose because humans need purpose. Without purpose, that's where we see people you know, commit suicide. And we've seen the suicide rates just skyrocket. Um, I also wanted just to share with you today's totem animal spirit, which is the turtle. The turtle tells you to take your time and do it right. I always think of Crush from Finding Nemo uh, in the turtle. So take your time um, with what's going on. Your numerology card for this week is self-love. So there's a self-love card. Uh, it's a six and a one. And the six and one, uh, six is responsibility, self-love. The one is independent. You have, you're responsible for yourself. Six plus one is seven. So that's about seeking truth, spiritual truth, finding truth, whatever that truth is for you. And then I wanted just to share uh, something that's called The Quiet Minds. Uh, it's a book that I have here. It's called um, The Secret of Strength Lies in the Quiet Mind. And it's uh, quotes from uh, sayings of White Eagle. So if you know who White Eagle is. But I wanted to read this real quick about wait patiently. And it says this, be still, my child. Be still and wait for the pointer to point your way. You cannot make a mistake if you do this. But if you could, but it could be catastrophic if you rushed forward because you would certainly come up against a sharp instrument, which would be painful. This is, this is the cause of your suffering. Until you learn to wait patiently on God, you will suffer. And I don't want anybody to suffer. So patience, 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 self-love, fluorite. I also remind people that with the suicide rates, because I do watch the numbers. I watch as a numerologist. I watch patterns. I watch trends. I watch all of that. And I just want to remind you that we have the suicide prevention uh, lifeline. This is a free confidential lifeline. It's always available. I'll show you here. You know, you can help a loved one, a friend, yourself. Uh, the number is 1-800-273-TALK or 1-800-273-8255. You can also find them online at suicidepreventionlifeline.org. So I just wanted to remind you that, you know, there is people out there, if you're having a rough go and what's going on in society, what's going on in life, work on taking your time work on self-love and get some fluorite to help with that that crystal that protection of your energy and to cleanse your orc field and um, i just want to say thank you for tuning in um, we're going to get ready for the healing cafe now uh here on zoom so get your questions ready uh today is going to be in the healing cafe it's going to be encouragement day so i'm going to be doing a lot more encouragement uh for you but it's right here on the intuitive prospector channel so make sure to subscribe like share out thank you to my team for joining i see a couple of you are on and um, we'll get ready for the Healing Cafe in about 30 seconds here. Um, but just thanks for tuning in. Um, you know, like I said, I hope that you're finding your purpose. And I know with everything, you can, you can say that you lived through a great pan pandemic. Um, you know, my, my thoughts and condolences and prayers for anybody that's been impacted by this COVID. Um, you know, I've lost a friend personally. And um, I know that there's a lot of families that are suffering right now with this quarantine and, and people that have moved on into the spirit world. But at the same time, 
great chaos usually afterwards is great is great progress and i believe in the great coming together and where we're heading um but i just want to send my thoughts and prayers and my condolences to anybody that's been impacted by this pandemic this covid uh this too shall pass we will get through this uh, but if you want to subscribe to my page just uh, make sure to do so i do track shares uh subscribes likes you can get on my youtube channel uh subscribe to that at the end of the month i do pick one person um, and i reach out to you to give you a free reading if you like um, no radio show this week. I'm off this week, but I'll be back next week for Inspired Living Radio, which is on Wednesdays. Um, the best place to go to find me is marklanehart.com or an internet search intuitive prospector. Uh, make sure to check out my events. I've got some great events coming up, including a dem on Halloween night, uh, the Blue Moon with Spirit Mediumship. I've got a two-day workshop coming up in November called the Medleys of Mediumship. From basic to advanced and everything in between, I will be working with the uh, talented Miss Penny Haywood. She's an Arthur uh, Finley College tutor in England, so looking forward to working with her. And then I've got my uh, got four more series of uh, soul guidance with my uh, friend Ramitra Davis Wright in Norway, where we've done a five part series going all the way through November. Um, soul guidance, inspirational messages for 2020. If you want to check that out, but um, thanks for tuning in. Um, I hope that you find your purpose and your passion. Uh, but most importantly, I just want to leave you with a, a quote from Martin Luther King, Dr. King Jr. It says this, if you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. But whatever you do, keep moving forward. And I hope that you keep moving forward. And, you know, success demands singleness of purpose. And I hope that you find your purpose and that you realize that uh, life is not a spectator sport that you need to jump in and you need to participate. And uh, I know that you'll find a passion and a plan for that when you do um, participate. So thanks for tuning in. Uh, we'll get ready for the Healing Cafe right now. Uh, until our next soul adventure together, be kind, be caring, be compassionate. Most importantly, dare to dream, dare to explore, dare to live. Let's get ready for the Healing Cafe. Uh, you can catch this video later over on my YouTube channel. And I hope that everybody has a great rest of your day.